Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is the fifth video of the playlist for making a for making a smartphone store website. In this video, we will continue for making a smartphone store website. First, what we are going to do is making the product page detail to be a dynamic. To do that, we are going to we are going to make a new API for our page. But first, we have to go to id.jsx and for the API, we are going to we are going to make it an API products and I will name it id.js. And because we are going to do the same thing, I will just copy from the index API and paste it in here. And we are going to have a put and delete. For the post, I will change it to put and I will copy it one more time and change it to delete. For the function or for the action, I will just keep it for now. And since we are going to do, and since we are going to fetch a specific data, so we are not going to find, we are not going to use find, but find by ID. And I will pass the ID in here. And also I will, I will make a new variable called ID. It is query, query equal to id, id, query. Now, for the API is done for now, I will go to id.jsx. And here, we are going to have a new get server side props function. That is going to be a function to fetch a data from the server side. I will make it like export cons get server side props and I will make it as async and for the params it is going to be a params since we are going to get the ID from the from the name of this file I will make a new res cons res equal to await axios.get and I will copy it from the index.js index.js here I will copy it and pass it here but before we pass it out we are not going to use an any quote I will use this so that we can pass the variable params and I will and also we are going to return the data it is, it is going to be in props and inside of these props we are going to pass the smartphone smartphone equal to res dot data to, re to retrieve this or to get this smartphone variable we are going to retrieving it from here equal to smartphone now we are already have the variable for the details we are going to replace all of the static data to the dynamic data. For the image, we are going to have a smartphone.img and for the for the title, we are going to have a smartphone.title and for the description, I will I will make it as smartphone smartphone dot description. And for the price, I will make it as smartphone dot price. Now let's see how it looks in the website. Click the product. And as you can see here, we have the dynamic details of the product. We have the title, the price, and a description and what we are going to do next is set the quantity variable use state in here I are I already import it so what we are going to do is make a new use state use state I will use the use state snippet and it is going to be the quantity 
and for the default it's going to be 1. So this variable or this const is going to save the quantity. So every time the user click the add to cart button, it will, re it will retrieve this quantity. I mean it will retrieve the quantity of the product from this cons. Next, we are going to do or what we are going to make is we are going to make an add to cart button. But first, we are going to we are going to change this input and I will give it an own change function or own change event. Inside of it will have some function and it is going to be set quantity e dot target dot value offset. Now we are done with the quantity. We can make the we can make the add to cart function. For the add to cart function, I will use a Redux toolkit. So I will close all other files. I will collapse it first and make a new folder called Redux. But before that, we are going to install the Redux. I will make a new panel in here, CLS, and then yarn add add Redux. slash toolkit now enter it will install it I will just wait and it is done next hmm let me see there is no redux toolkit okay so I misspell it it should be a yarn at at redux JS less to kit and this one is not yard, it should be yarn yarn at redux JS toolkit. Now waiting now for the for the redux toolkit is done. I'm going to add a new one yarn at redux. React Redux. Enter. Waiting again. And for the installing for React Redux is done, we can we can start for making the Redux. Inside of inside of the Redux Redux folder, I'm going to make a new file called cart slice.js inside of it we will import create slice from redux.js toolkit and i will make a new cons equal to cart slice equal to create slice for the name it's going to be cart and initial state is equal to products is an array, I mean empty array, quantity, quantity is zero, and for the total is zero. After this, after this, I will have a new reducer, reducers is equal to add product state comma action and state dot products dot push action dot payload for the set quantity it is going to be at plus one and for the state total it is equal to increment equal to payload price 
action payload quantity so for the total it's going to be the action payload i mean the price and quantity comma reset reset and for the params is state and then state dot products equal to array state quantity is zero and for the state total is also zero i will give some comma here and the semicolon we'll export this cons at product comma reset card slice dot action and i will export the default card slice register and also after this we are going to make a new file called store.js for the store i will import and configure store configure store from redux toolkit just from redux toolkit and after that i will import the card reducer card card reducer reducer from dot slash card slice this one is should be card card reducer and I will export I will export default configure store it's going to be a reducer and that card equal to card reducer card reducer now go to the underline underline app.js i will wrap this layout inside of a inside of a provider but first we are going to import the provider import provider from react redux and also we are going to import the store import store from dot dot slash redux slash store i will give it a semicolon and i will wrap this layout inside of the provider provider the store is equal to store i will close this and I'll see that I can I will just purify it manually and save and also we have to connect our navbar so that every time we click the add to cart button it will add it the the cart button in the navbar will add go so to do that go to your navbar Navbar .jsx. I will control B to hide the sidebar. Now we are going to import a new. We are going to import use selector, use selector from React Redux, and we are going to make a a variable cons quantity so that we can show the quantity of the card in the navbar for the quantity is equal to use selector use selector and then state state dot card dot quantity quantity for this one for this zero, I will I will replace it with a quantity variable. 
so let's see how it looks in the website and here as you can see there's empty known but it should be some zero let's see where am i from or what where did the error so i found the problem there is in the card slice.js and i misspelled this quantity nope yep i misspelled this quantity it should be Control D quantity. It should be like this. Now let's see in the website. And as you can see here, we have the zero. Now we are going to add a new function to the add to cart button. Go to the PS code and we are going to we are going to go to id.jsx but in the product folder. So in here, we are going to make a new variable called dispatch. Cons dispatch dispatch equal to use dispatch. And we are going to import it first. Import use dispatch from React Redux. And also, we are going to make a new function here equal to cons handle click. So this function is going to be the function to add to add the product into the card. This batch, this batch, add product. And then here, dot 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 smartphone. Comma price. I mean comma quantity. I think that's it. Now we are going to apply the function to the button. Here I will make a new even on click. On click is equal to handle click handle click so let's try it in a website refresh it first click the add to cart button and we get some error add product is not defined let me see in cart slice add product hum so I forgot to import the add product I have to import it first import add product from redux slash cart slice so let's see in the website I will rephrase it first and click the add to cart button and it is adding to one if i click it one more time it's adding to two and this is working so for the add to cart is done we can now add the add the cart page so if you click the cart link it will just redirecting to the static page now we can make it as a dynamic. Go to your VS Code. I will close all of this. I can go to the cart.jsx. So in here we are going to make all of this data to be a dynamic. To do that, we are going to make a new variable called dispatch. In the cart, we are going to make a new variable cons dispatch equal to use dispatch and below that we will have a cons card equal to dispatch and then state state dot card 
with this variable we can map over this item and we can make it dynamic so for for make the dynamic we we will use the mapping function i will just cut it first control x and then make a new and then make a new mapping wait a second my VS code is still lagging control x uh -huh. now make a new card card dot products dot map and then product inside of that will have the product and then we're going to use parentheses because we want to instantly return something i will paste the tr that we are cutting i will alt shift f to verify it and i will give a key for the tr because this will make this tr unique for the key i will give product under underline id and for the image i will make it as product.img and the title is product.title and for the price it's going to be product.price for the quantity it's also going to be a product dot quantity and for the total it's going to be product dot price multiplied by product dot quantity now let's see how it looks in a website i will refresh it but Wait a second. Oh, let me see in my VS Code. I will I will run my server again. Yarn dev. Go to the website. Refresh it, and we get some error. Let me see. Uh -huh. Well, I found the problem. There's in here. We should use the uh, use selector. Use selector. Selector. We'll just tap. We'll import it. Import. Use selector. From React Redux. Save. Let's see in the website. We're still getting some error. Use selector is not defined. This is Shrek Redux and then slash rotor. Let's see in the website. Refresh it. We got some error again. I will just combine it with the use dispatch comma here take space let's see how it looks in a website and it is no error but we also have no item because we did not add something to our card let's go to the home page and click some product add it to the cart i think i will add it too and go to the cart page and as you can see here we have the product title the price and the quantity now we are going to add for the subtotal and the total for the discount i will just keep it for zero 
here I will make I will just show it card the total and also for the total card the total let's see in the website and as you can see here we have the soup total and the total next we are going to make a function to show the to show the payment method when we click this check out now button go to your vs code scroll to the top and make a new use state use state use state i will make it a snippet use state and for this one it's going to be open and for the for the default it's going to be false Go down in here. I will cut this checkout now button, and we will make an and we will make an if function. So here we have an open. If it is open, we are going to make a new to button, and if it's not. If it's not, it will be so a checkout now button. Something like this. But there is something wrong with this. Oh, I will just wrap it in a in a react fragment. Move it here. For the first one, I will change it to cast on delivery and for the second one is going to be paypal and for this checkout button i will give it some on click function i mean on click even on click equal to set open true let's see how it looks in the website if I click this checkout now button, it will show the cast on delivery and the PayPal button. But I will style it a little bit more. Here I can add a BR tag. And let's see how it looks. And it is looking much better. Now let's make the PayPal button. To do that, first we are going to have to install the PayPal package, and that is is at PayPal slash react PayPal dot js. We'll copy it first. Yarn add and remove this quote and enter. It will install it. It is done installing. Now we can start to making the making the PayPal button. I will go to the storybook or to their doc or to their documentation in here. First, I will copy the will copy the requirement here. Copy and paste it here. For the variable like amount, currency, and style, I will put it inside of this card. I'll save F. For the button wrapper, put it down below here. I'll save F. And then we are going to copy the PayPal button or with the show spinner. We'll just copy I will copy this custom button wrapper from here.
and that's it here I will replace this first button wrapper and alt shift F and next is for this one the paypal script provider I will see here and that's it here I will alt shift F to beautify it now let's see how it looks in the website and as you can see here, we have the PayPal button. If I click it, and I think that's it for this video. For the next video, we will connect it with our Sandbox PayPal account. And that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.